More Heart Than Talent Radio. More Heart Than Talent Radio is brought to you today by my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. If you find yourself struggling to find your breakthrough and frustrated with your results, join my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. It's a private video coaching call every other week where I'll be teaching the skill of the week followed by coaching. JCIC members one-on-one live for observation. All calls are recorded and posted in the JCIC members area. Members will have access to the private JCIC Facebook group where they can ask questions, interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, the other JCIC members, and receive any support required in their breakthrough process. When you enroll, you'll receive the new members welcome kit, which includes my new Breakthrough Factor audio program, my Breakthrough Accelerator course, my digital coaching program, and so much more, all for $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today. Jeffrey Combs, president and founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated in the Golden Mastermind Studios, Facebook Live, More Heart Than Talent, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the waning days of October. My privilege and pleasure to be here with you on the last Tuesday, October 2018. I've been hosting this call going back to September 1998. So, Welcome aboard, 21 years and counting. So today's topic is going to be on anger. And the topic today is, it's a great topic. It's called Understanding the Faces of Anger, anger, Identifying the Anger Personalities. So just like in the four personalities and the six personality and 16 personalities, that Myers-Briggs type indicator, that, that, that Carl Jung, Socrates created over the annals of time and all the other authors that have created the personality types and type indicators. Anger has its own set of personalities. I'll be covering some of those personalities and archetypes in today's live. I'm going to cover a few quick announcements and then move into the inspirational portion of today's live. See, I tend to want to say video or call, but we are live here. So Welcome aboard, everyone. I see some of you are ringing. There's Andrea Daler, Greg Walker, Abby Taylor, Claire, how are you? Chris joined me. So, Lisa, thank you very much. Next Saturday, that will be November 10th, I'll be speaking in beautiful Spartanburg, South Carolina. November 17th, one of my fit, and that is with Bridget Bartley. So, thank you, Bridget, for hosting that event. November 17th, I will be in one of my favorite cities. Orange, oh, the county is Orange County, but the city is Laguna, and that is with Marissa and Doug Campbell, two exceptional clients I've had the privilege of coaching for many years, as I have with Bridget. Then we have the beautiful Thanksgiving weekend, a weekend to be grateful, and I'll be right back in it in Saddlebrook, New Jersey with Diane Hunt, and then I'll be moving into December. I will be in Atlanta, Georgia, and that will be hosted by my very, very good friend, Carlotta Davis. December 22nd, I'll be in Terrytown, New York, and wrapping it up in Los Angeles, California, with Brittany Cara on December 29th. So those are some of the speaking engagements where you can see me live, and I am in the flow today, baby, ITF. So if you are listening to the content today, it's going to be ITF and ITZ, in the flow and in the zone, in the flow, in the zone. Now, what does that actually mean? It means the hands-free zone means that there's no hands-on. You're out here. You're out here in the, in the, not in the periphery, but you're in the moment. You're in the game. You're in the process. You're in recovery. You're in consciousness. You're in awareness. You're in knowing, understanding, and you're in a very high evolved state of energy. And it's that energy that you'll attract your reality, people and situations to fulfill your feelings. Now, if you're seeking unique insight on how to break through, how to be hands-free, how to be in the moment and separate your feelings from the events that shape them, I routinely offer 
20 minutes of free one-on-one -on -one coaching. And my coaching specializes in cause and effect, separating your feelings from events, and some of the very content I'll be covering today. So if you're seeking some insight immediately and have not taken have not accessed a free 20-minute coaching session or considering hiring me to be your coach, inbox me on Facebook with your phone number and I will return your phone number relatively quickly. That is the ASAP zone as soon as possible. And moving into today's content, we're going to move into the content of the personalities of anger. And one of those prevalent and common personalities of anger is a term I coined myself. This isn't something I borrowed from another offer, but I call it the angry giver. Now, who and what is the angry giver? The angry giver is a personality that tends to over-obligate, do more for others, with a sense of entitlement, wanting a reward and a recognition, usually from force in a counterforce situation where they're their personality is derived by giving. And many people walk around saying that they're a giver, which being a giver is a good trait, but it depends on what giving means. If you pride yourself on being a giver and have challenges receiving, then you're going to be out of balance with the whole situation. But if you're giving from contribution and giving from the spirit of loving it and not expecting a reward in return, that's a different energy than if you're giving because you want recognition. And many people give from recognition, then they're angry because they don't get the recognition they feel they deserve. Also in that same energy, many people give and then they're disappointed that they don't get recognized or they're not where someone else and they compare themselves to where someone else is. So in, in understanding angry giving, an angry giver typically will have enable tendencies, over-obligate themselves, do more for others than they'll do for self, and then be and stay disappointed because they don't get the recognition they feel that they require and or deserve, which then leads back to the emotional state of disappointment. And if you, are, if you find yourself in an overwhelmed state where you are frequently disappointed, meaning this is not you don't receive the appointment, then that will be your responsibility to have a better understanding of cause and effect and why you do what you do. And looking at the faces of anger, anger is also connected to resentment, and anger is also connected to hate. These are the three energies that I write about in the book, The Anger Factor. Now, The Anger Factor is a, is a book that I wrote couple of years ago. As a matter of fact, I had a testimony today from Scott Bertha. Scott sent me an, a Facebook message telling me how inspired he was in reading the book, The Anger Factor, and it was assisting him to separate his feelings from the events that created the feelings that have him in a let go state. Now, if you find yourself angry, angry all the time, you're angry more frequently than you want to be angry. You fly off the handle, you lose your composure, you're pissed off, or any multitude of situations that lead to a relapse, so there's a reason. The reason would be an unresolved issue or unresolved issues. And we tend to, these are two terms. Now, you can find this content in David Hawkins' brilliant book called Letting Go. But in the first chapter number two, it's called The Mechanism of Letting Go. I was reading this this morning for probably the hundredth time, but he breaks down the difference between repression and suppression. Now, this is a very good distinguishment when it comes to anger. What we tend to do is we live in a repressed state of feelings that we don't understand and we don't know. Now, when that's unconscious, but we oftentimes consciously suppress a set of feelings. I'm angry. I'm angry a lot. It makes me angry. You make me angry. Oftentimes, we suppress those feelings, even though we know better, but we continue to perpetuate them over and over. And one of the biggest detriments of anger is it leads to addictions. It's one of the most common causes of addictions because in anger, your energy moves up to about 180 cycles a second in anger. In hertz and measured, measured energy, anger is a high frequency because of the, the intensity that you give off. So emotions give off corresponding responses. And if you're being and staying in anger, you're transmuting these, finger, these, these feelings telepathically and emotionally. So for you to separate your feelings from the events that shape them, it's your responsibility to understand the cause that creates the effect. And if you don't understand the cause that creates the effect, 
you will continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings over and over, creating a similar outcome. It's important that you learn to understand the different archetypes and or personalities that anger creates. So anger has more than one face. It has one, Anger also has resentment. Resentment is a deep abiding anger that is held onto. I had someone recently say to me, today is the anniversary of my divorce. Now, and the way the energy was given off on it, it was a very, very hostile energy. So meaning that there's deep resentment about the, the, the day of the anniversary of my divorce. And I pointed out to my client, why are you edifying this? Why are you even remembering this? Because the brain takes a picture of an event and creates a memory, and the memory determines the meaning. What you hold on to typically will create anger. What you release creates consciousness. So anger is an emotion based on a series of unresolved issues that we hold on to that are either suppressed, meaning that you know why you do it, but continue to do it, or they're repressed, meaning that you've forgotten, you haven't, you didn't understand it, you you checked out any multitude of situations, but you don't understand why you do what you do. If you don't understand why you do what you do, then your body will run the brain, creating a series of situations over and over to fulfill the same feelings and the same outcome. Now there's the anger producer. So we've looked at the angry giver, but here's a very here's a very common trait, and I fell into this category, an angry producer. By God, I'm going to succeed if it kills me. So I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I'm going to kill it. And I'm going to crush it. it. Once again, it's the energy behind it. It's the emotional state that, that determines either your flow or your resistance. So when you're in a, when you when you're in an angry, if you're going to produce from anger, you're producing from force. Now that force requires conflict. It requires an adversary. Force requires a counterforce to thrive. So force has to have someone to make you wrong. Force is a black and white situation where there's a winner and a loser. And when you're oftentimes coming from being angry in your production, if you don't get the production that you say that you're going to get, then you're then you're upset and you're wrong or someone's going to be wrong. I can't believe they didn't buy from me. This is so stupid. Why didn't they do this? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Now, this is a key component. Now, I'm going to be speaking this weekend. I'm back in the game this weekend. I'll be speaking at the Protege Writer Speakers Workshop. And here's a very common term that people get stuck in. They try to make sense of an this is, I'm going to write this out here for you because this is really good. What many people do is they try to make sense of an addiction. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Is that sensible? Are we, are we making sense? Well, making sense are pennies. You don't want to be making sense. You want to be creating results, number one. And instead of making sense, you want to understand. Now, there's context. There's a different context in making sense. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense to me. Does it make sense to me? He had two DUIs and now he has a third. It doesn't make sense to me that he would go drive again. Well, addictions don't make sense. Addictions are based on events that are unresolved, that we continue to hold on to, and then we fulfill a set of feelings with either drugs, alcohol, food, barbiturates, methamphetamines, compulsive debting, spending, gambling, sex, anorexia, bulimia, over, over under earning, chronic avoidance, stuffing, repressing, hoarding, any multitude of situations where we repeat, repeat a behavior over and over to fulfill a, a neurochemical craving that we're emotionally addicted to. So when you let go of making sense, now you're going to be this. You're going to be aware, A-W-A-R-E. You're going to know, K-N-O-W. You're going to understand. And then when you do this, you're going to trust. These are the four components of consciousness. Aware, knowing, understanding, and trusting. Now, this is my whiteboard, my trusty whiteboard that I use on Facebook Lives. Now, commensurate right over here is a four by six foot whiteboard that I love. But so in context, this is a good little whiteboard and a good metaphor for me to be able to, to be able to show you metaphorically these four words: understand, know, trust. And, and then you also want to add the term awareness to this. So when you're aware, you know, and you stop making sense of it. But if you find yourself angry, producing out of anger, 
you're producing in a mixed message, meaning that you're typically too intense. Now, when you just add a word to intensity, I'll show you the difference. You can add a word to intensity that will change the whole context. Okay, so here's intensity. So look at that. This is in a black and white world. I'm going to get me a different... I walked over to the GMS studio, and I'm going to show you a different color here and how the color changes the meaning. So now we're going to move into relaxed intensity. Now, intensity is black on a white board. It's very black and white. I'm intense. I'm intense. Intensity oftentimes is teeth grinding, and we will tend to grind our teeth. So if we're right-handed, we will tend to grind our teeth on the non-dominant side of our body. So here's my right finger. So I won't, I'm not going to grind on my right side. I'm going to grind on my left side. So that means I'm going to overcompensate. It means I'm going to raise a shoulder and drop a shoulder, which then affects the C1 and C2 in the rib hit, or I'm sorry, in the upper cervical. That's the atlas and the axis. That's what that intensity creates. It creates an, a forced, overwhelmed state of consciousness that will not attract your reality, the people and situations you seek to create. What you end up creating in this type of energy and in angry producing and angry giving is you end up attracting the very situation you seek to avoid to fulfill the feelings that keep you emotionally addicted. Now, I added a different color to relaxed intensity. So this is no longer a black and white issue. Just by adding a different color, blue, which is a softer color, and that's not navy blue, which is a darker color. That is a cobalt blue. So this, this is black, and this is white, and this is blue and white. Now, blue and white together creates a different color scheme. So when you just when you just in adding a different color it means you're adding a different perception and your perception unequivocally will create your reality. So I have black sharpies that I write with but I also have blue sharpies that I write with because it changes the context of the meaning of the word. So the way that your brain sees a situation determines whether you're in fight or flight or whether you're in consciousness. It will determine whether you're in intensity or relaxed intensity. It will determine whether you're in anxiety, fear, and doubt, or whether you're in consciousness. So for you to be and stay in consciousness, it's not a how do I state, it's an I am state of awareness, that you're aware of the word choices you use in your sentences. I hosted a coaching call just a few minutes ago, and the words kinda, sorta, if I had to say, these are common words that the American populace uses frequently over and over to be and stay non-committal. When you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings, when you are you and I am free, when you are you and I am free, then you can separate your feelings from the events. But when you continue to hold on, when you're in the hands-on zone, when you want to control the outcome, you're in anger. When you get upset very easily. I can't believe this. This always happens to me. I always forget people's names. See, the way you communicate determines your outcome. It's very difficult to create leads in today's world. With what's happening with Facebook, what's happening with Instagram, what's happening with what's happening, what's happening, this is the way many people communicate with themselves to fulfill their feelings of low esteem. When you're no longer the mind-body connection to these events, you can separate your feelings from the events. Now you're elevating consciousness. That means, that means on any given day, David can beat Goliath. And for you to beat David, you have to compete differently. You're not competing to win. You're competing to be your best. When you let go of this win-lose dichotomy, the black and white dichotomy, if you don't win, then you lose. Well, you can't operate like that because that's what creates anger. If I don't get my way, then I'm going to brood, I'm going to pout, I'm going to be sensitive and defensive. Now, that oftentimes is the anger procrastinator. The angry procrastinator tends to be angry that they're not where they should be. I can't believe I'm not where I should be. Well, the angry procrastinator is an angry avoider. It means that they have entitlement issues. They expect to be somewhere that they're not willing to devote the effort to. 
And if you find yourself in this situation, well, you want to be objective, honest, and open without being critical. One of the ways that you neutralize your anger is by understanding the cause that creates the effect of it. Most anger is, is a direct reflection of violations that happen either physically and or emotionally that you don't understand and not let go on and continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings and attracting similar results to fulfill those feelings that keep you feeling abandoned and rejected. Yes, I'm crushing it today. So we're going to move over to the passive aggressive anger perpetrator. Now, this is the person that's often confusing because one day they're friendly, they're warm, they're lovable, and the next day they're angry, they're upset. They're putting you in a position that you have to explain, validate, and justify yourself. They're putting you in a position that you are, they're making you wrong. You did something that they don't understand. They fly off the handle or they're loving. These are the unpredictable anger types. These are the people who are confusing. Oftentimes, we have one of these people in our family, then we end up dating, mating, or marrying one of these people. It's your responsibility to understand this, to neutralize this personality or any personality. It's not to be seduced by them, not to be intimidated by them, and not answer their questions and feel threatened by them. What you're going to be able to do is learn to, instead of answering a question, ask them a question in a very relaxed body so you're not the mind-body connection to the unresolved issues based on past events. They continue to feel anxious about making a mistake, getting in trouble, saying the wrong thing. These people tend to intimidate a large percent of society. They are oftentimes misunderstood. They don't even know how angry they are. And they tend to create problems and they're shocked. They're shocked if you ever point anything out to them or they're shocked if you call them out. They're shocked. How dare you? I'm a really good person. They come that from that in their passive personality side, not understanding that there's a deep, dark under, underside to their anger, and they live in this mixed message. Per, they become perpetrators and lovers, so they're, they're very unpredictable. And these are the type of people you worry about on the way home because you don't know who's going to show up. Yes, this is good content. So the then there's the victim blamer. This is the person who's the chronic victim. This always happens to them. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this personality because – you already know some of this. This is the kind of person who has to be heard. They have to tell their story. They do a lot of talking and explaining. And this always happens. This is, woe is me, baby. And this is the kind of person you want to get out of the conversation ASAP. These are the kind of people that find the flaws. There's always something wrong with the product, the service, the benefit, the feature, the upline, the downline, the crossline, the bottom line, the line of lines, because they're going to find something wrong with it. Separate your feelings these people. The angry entrepreneur, another entitled personality. This is the type of person, by God, I'm going to succeed if it kills me. This is also the type of personality that has expectations bigger than their habits. This is the kind of person that I'm going to kill it. I'm going to crush it. These are the kind of people that go to the seminars, the rallies, the conventions, and they're going to go home and freaking crush it. However, on Wednesday, they're overwhelmed. and these are the type of people that educate themselves and medicate themselves, and they're getting ready to get ready, never really taking into actualization the action required to create the result. And then last but not least, how to release your anger as an identity. Now, this is a skill that I have developed over a long career. Now, I was not always good at this. I pride myself on this. First of all, I've learned not to make someone wrong. That doesn't mean that I just suck it up and let people be right, but I'm not going to enter into conflict when it has no value. And there are many times where I will disagree with someone, but not, not make them wrong about it. And there's certain times you just learn to walk away. So when anger rises up, it tends to rise up from your abdomen. Your anger tends to also show up in your facial features, and it also tends to show up in your teeth. You tend to grind, or any other ways. You also tend to get tense and tight, you tend, we will tend to drop a shoulder and raise a shoulder, go into fight or flight. So anger, anger typically is fight mode. It's not flight, it's fight. It means you want to stay there and you want to have a conflict. Now, if this is you, learn to breathe into the feeling because that separates the neurons that wire and fire, that form a feeling so there's no longer a shelf life to that emotional state. To let go of anger is to understand it. To let go of anger is to release it. To let go of anger is to understand the cause that creates the effect. 
of why you do what you do. If you don't understand why you do what you do, you will recreate the same situation over and over to fulfill a set of feelings that are familiar. So as you begin to step into your power of letting go, now letting go very simply means separate feelings from events. And that is not a how do I state of consciousness. That is an I am state. I am letting go. I am letting go of my feelings. I'm no longer holding on to it. What do I do when my husband comes home and he's angry about his job? Well, first of all, don't let his energy affect yours. Yeah, but. Stop saying yeah, but. When the sage delivers the message, listen. Oftentimes there are sages in your influence. A sage is someone who walks around the planet imparting wisdom. Stop making the sage wrong. And let the sage do what the sage does is give you the insight you require to let go. Anytime you relapse back into yeah, but, you're back into proving you're right based on your own unresolved issues. Anger is not attractive. Anger does not attract the type of people that you're looking for. Anger attracts its own conflict. Because if you're angry, you have to be right. So if you have to be right, you have to have an adversary. You have to have a winner and a loser. Someone's got to be wrong. And you'll spend way, way too much time exhausting yourself living in this right-wrong, black-white dichotomy. You should begin to separate your feelings from the events. Also, by holding on to anger, you're proving someone else right who violated you. And your objective is not to prove them wrong. Your objective is to let them go. That is what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is also a major component of anger because as you begin to forgive self and others, now you begin to separate your feelings from the events. How do I? How do I forgive? Well, forgiving is not a how do I state of awareness. Forgiveness is a skill. Forgiveness is an understanding of the events that shape your emotions. And by being able to understand that, then you're not making people wrong anymore. You can see the whole situation. It's called metacognition. You can see the situation for what it is. You can elevate yourself into a level of consciousness that allows you to separate your feelings from anxiety, fear, and doubt. And then you can collapse the events and let them go. But those these situations you hold on to, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. No, you let go of the rope. When you let go of the rope, you're in power rather than in force and resistance as you're no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape your feelings, then you are you and you are free. I host an event two times a year called the Protege Writer Speakers Workshop. I've been hosting this event since May 2010. I do it twice a year. It's in conjunction with my free event for my coaching clients, Breakthroughs to Success. My coaching package in, in that event, I have, I have a two and a half day workshop called Breakthroughs to Success. And the very content that, we, that I'm sharing with you today, I dress in a group forum where I facilitate the breakthroughs of a group setting of people who bring together over however many years of life they show up in, their past events that are unresolved. I'm very skilled at assisting people to facilitate the transformation and the let go process. Well, the writer, speed, writer speakers workshop, protege writer speakers workshop is a more elevated event where the people that attend that have been through that process of transformation and now are in the place where they're able to write on command. In this type of event, a lot of the people there have separated their feelings from the past. They're more present, they're more available, and they're able to create and write on command. So this is the situation that you want to be able to access today. This is called consciousness. Consciousness brings you closer to deity, source, and the universe, and it brings you a whole different set of content that you can access in the hands-free zone. And in that consciousness in a let-go state, you're able to access your brilliance rather than be angry that you're not where you want to be. Anger also requires acceptance. Accept where you are. Let go of your feelings about being violated, the mistakes you've made. And most importantly, finish today without being critical. If you're critical of self, you're angry with self. And you may not even recognize how critical you are. Even by being critical, many people have challenges, have challenges recognizing how angry they are. Be honest, open, objective. Be the man and woman you're capable of being. My name, Jeffrey Combs, president and founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated, bringing you the glow today. You're going to see me in the next few weeks in the not only hands-free zone, but in the glow zone. So I'm in a, I'm in a state that 
I'm really looking forward to seeing many of you at the live events coming up in the next two months. So we have about 60 days to really take our game to the next level. Happy Halloween, everyone who loves to participate in that awesome festive holiday. And Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So we have a lot to be grateful for as we end this year. And you're going to end this year on one of the best years of your life. Jeffrey Combs, president and founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. You have a great day. Thank you for listening to the More Heart Than Talent radio. If you enjoyed today's content and would like more insight and education to the breakthrough process, you can get my new Breakthrough Factor audio training for free today. It's seven hours of breakthrough content to assist you to break through in life and business. This training is currently for sale on my website for $497, but I'm giving it to you for free as a bonus to persuade you to try my new coaching program called the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle. It's my proven system to teach everyday people and entrepreneurs how to break through to success. When you join the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle, you will participate in two private video coaching calls per month that you and my other members receive access to. On each call, the first half, I'll be teaching the skill of the week and giving you an assignment related to the topic. You will have the opportunity to post your homework in my private JCIC Facebook group. The Facebook group is a place where you can interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, and other JCIC members. On the second half of the coaching call, I'll be coaching JCIC members one-on-one -on -one live for you to observe. As a member, you can register for your own live one-on-one -on -one coaching session during this call. They're all recorded and posted in the JCIC members area for you to review while you are an active member. You will also receive a new member's welcome kit and my new Breakthrough Factor audio program absolutely free for joining. You can sign up today for just $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today.